Welcome to Zarnia for Games and Geekery. This is part three of When the Bell Tolls, our D&D adventure. It's a heist with a little bit of a time looping twist. Welcome to Zarnia for Games and Geekery. I'm John, this is Jane, and that's Natalie, and we are playing When the Bell Tolls. So this is the third time loop. The world has warped, blinked on and off. You uh, have just entered the dining hall as the last toll of 11 echoes around the room. Um, you have champagne in your tray, a blonde wig around you. Uh, you um, have nothing in your hands where you were clutching a doll. It's now gone. I've got my book, my rosary. You've got your book and your rosary, just as you started with. Yes. Uh, next to you, a servant drops a tray of sausage rolls. Mm. One rolls towards you, and you lift your foot and it passes under. Mm -hmm. Next to you, um, a man turns and says, Hell of a show, isn't it? What does this man look like? Yeah. And have we seen him previously at the table? Yeah, why is he talking to me now? Why is he... <gasps> why is he behaving differently? What do you want to do? Oh. What does he look like? All right. Um, he is a very suave looking man. He is wearing um, sort of a black uh, coat, high collar beneath is like a sort of a red shirt. There's like red trim of a sort of vaguely military, but like non-committal uh, sort of regalia on. It doesn't look like quite like he fits in anywhere. He has beautiful black hair and uh, dark eyes, um, but Ooh. very, very pale white skin. Was he sitting next to me before? No. Where did you come from? Oh, you know, I've... I've been around. Anyway, I'm going to go enjoy the show. And he takes up a glass of champagne off your tray and like waltzes um, off. As soon as uh, you blink, he is gone. Who's that man? Oh my god, did you just see that? Did you see that guy just disappear? I, I did. Okay, okay, he, was, he, 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 he totally, like, wasn't there just before. I'm gonna, call, I'm gonna message you in your brain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How are you noticing things that are different to before? What do you mean? Sorry, it's me down here talking to you <laughs> telepathically. Um, uh, he hello? Yes, hello. Sorry, I must apologize for my impoliteness. I'm just a little bit stressed and you seem to be stuck in the same loop that I am. Is this true? And I go, um, meet me under the table. <laughs> oh my goodness, I seem to have dropped something on the floor. My mistake. <laughs> no, no, don't, don't worry, I've got, all the, I've got all the sausages. It's totally okay. I'll totally pick them up for you. No, no, I've got, I've got, no. I no, still no. go underneath. <laughs> and then I drop my rosary. He's like, oh, okay, here, here you go. <laughs> and I smash it out of his hands. I'm like, you go. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that's yes, not... yes. And he sort of scuttles away. <laughs> and I'm like, get my beads. Mm. See you there. Tuck my book <laughs> <laughs> underneath my tunic. Um, okay. Isn't okay. Something is definitely happening. That man is definitely new. Yes. I did not see that man before, but I am stuck in some sort of black magic loop of time. Every time that bell is ringing, I am finding myself back here in the same place. Y yes, that's ex is exactly what is happening. Every time I get upstairs to... I'm just going to lay cards on the table. All right. I need something that's upstairs. Last time I got there, no problem. Quite easy, actually. There's something in the vault that, that I desperately need. I've been in the vault. I was in the vault in the last loop. What is inside? Can you explain it? Well, I don't know if we are looking for the same thing. And I don't know if I can trust you. I have a lot of respect for that. 
<laughs> but it seems that I cannot do this mission alone because the last two times that I tried, I failed. And I just keep finding myself sitting back here with these stupid sausage rolls hitting me on the feet. So <laughs> perhaps we can work together and come to some sort of agreement. You seem very competent at sneaking around. I am, I am okay, I guess. Pretty decent. I can get us to the vault. And I can get us inside the vault. But I don't know how I'm going to trust you that we can share what we both want that is in the vault. Well, why don't we see what happens when we get there? That is really not a good enough option for me. And I'm going invisible. Hmm? <laughs> and I go invisible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What do you do? Um, in, invisible. I go in my head. <laughs> Can I mess him? Can I? No, you know, oh, can't, I can't. Damn it. Um, but you know, you I can, like I can definitely help you. I have, I have ways of getting keys to open things. And then I'm going to say a message. I don't need the keys. I already know the combination. <laughs> but you're stuck in the vault, are you not? I am stuck in the loop as well, which might as well be the vault itself. Okay. I say we work together, we stop, we try to get the things we need, and then we see what the hell happens if it breaks the loop. I also cannot carry the box that I need on my own. We don't need the box, we need what's inside the box, which is clearly what we both are after. Okay. I can't get into the box. Oh, I can get into the box, it's not a problem. Okay, I see where now you'll be useful to me. <laughs> I'm so glad. <laughs> but I cannot see you, so I don't know if you're being sarcastic. Okay, I will get up to the vault. Meet me there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well? I mean, sh sure, I had a bit of a struggle to get inside the vault, so if you can just, like, <laughs> hang ten outside of it to open it. Fine. Okay. I will see you there. Okay, I hope to see you there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, so you head up um, back. I can't now because I went invisible too quick, so I can't make you invisible. It's gonna take another yeah. spell. So Sorry. The, 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 the tablecloth <laughs> whooshes as you exit. You. <laughs> you do another murder? Same murder? Uh, same murder. <laughs> same, same everything. I don't want to change how I got there. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Um, and you go up to the very top, uh, you know, but are you going to get past the guard in the same way? Yeah, I'm not going to change. Slips, he goes, falls, ah, oh no. You're surrounded by um, people, you do your thermoturgy, mm. ah! Guard's like, I'm going to go, uh, you know, investigate that. Uh, mm. You two, handle her. <laughs> murder, 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 mm. murder. Um, all right, you'll stand. Oh, did you go into the vault? Not in. Okay, you just like waited around. Did yes. you help her with the murder? Um, yeah, killing the guards? I, yeah, where I could I did. Maybe. Okay, so I'm going to say you get through this combat without uh, taking any wounds. Wow, well, okay. Yeah, mm. because you have now an advantage on all your attacks. <laughs> yes. Because you have an invisible person helping you. <laughs> also to kind of prove that I'm like being loyal. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mickey Mouse all the way through that. Mm -hmm. All right. Piotr is like, my dad loves you. As this you're time. doing that, <laughs> I'm doing the, because I want to keep that secret. Don't okay. want her to Ooh, see that I nice. know the combination. combination. That's like my, yeah. The big vault opens. Mm. There is the, um, yeah, there's the lockbox uh, sitting on the table in the middle. What are you going to do? Well, I've got the keys. No, you don't. It was you got the keys neck. for the vault, but the keys for the uh, strong box is around the vizier's neck. But you can pick the locks, can't you? I could try. You can try. All right. DC twenty-five. Try this one. Oh my gosh! Mm. You can do it. You've rolled so you've rolled so high. Mm. I can't give you anything, can I, to help? Can you? No. No. I don't, you don't have any lock picking abilities. <gasps> twenty-five. Twenty-five. Oh. Yes. Uh. 
it opens up, there is the beautiful crown um, nestled in its velvety interior. <laughs> so much gold, ruby, size of an eyeball, hmm. dawn's tear. Hmm. What are you going to do? I dig it. The whole crown? Nothing but the crown. Um, just the ruby. Just the ruby. Okay. Um, tell me how you get the ruby out. What a great thing. How do I get the ruby? Can I, it does it not just pop? I mean, you know, it's like a gem with a little socket and it's got like little, like, you know, like clock. You know, like the way you would hold a gem in a... In a yeah, my little a, thieves tools. I can just use to like... Tools. Do we not have like a moment of like... Yeah, what you guys are the yeah. ones playing this. What do you want to do? <laughs> How are you feeling? The ruby. I'm just next to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> are, you, are you still invisible? No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> How are we going to go about this now? We both want the ruby, I'm guessing. Y yes. I really just want it for shits and giggles to prove a point. I don't actually need or care for this ruby. I have a similar story myself. <laughs> so, if we work together to get out of this with the ruby, we've done it together. Okay. Because we are still stuck in this loop. Yes. Okay, so now we just try to get out of the building. I have to show you something. Okay. And are you going to show me yourself? It's very awkward you, you being doing, invisible all the time. Which one are you doing first? What do you mean? Which? Are you uh, extracting the ruby or are you... I've extracted the ruby. Okay, roll your thieves' tools. Natural one. Natural one. <gasps> okay. <laughs> Uh, you're kind of distracted by like talking to the air, like, uh, and your thieves' tool like prize the last little like clasp off the, the ruby, and the ruby springs out oh, no. and hits the floor. To break and cracks in half. Oh, fine, I grab it. This is good. You give me half, you take half. Okay. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Almost like a plant. It's beautiful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, do Do you have any? Not a lot of gemologists here. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's we've got different reasons for. Do Do you take offense if I tell people that I stole this entirely by myself? Does that bother you? <laughs> I don't care. Okay, so we just say I I stole it <laughs> all by myself, and then I'm. So like rubies aren't like as hard as diamonds. <laughs> But like, they're pretty hard. So this is not real. No. <laughs> this is a shiny glass gem. <laughs> I like the way you're just like, oh yeah. Great. Price this thing broken half, huh? that's probably legit. <laughs> it was a natural one. It was yeah. totally, it's just perfect. It's a beautiful storytelling moment. I like, didn't know how, when you were going to figure out that it was like broken, but then, natural one. <laughs> All right. Your heart immediately sinks as you realize, hang on a minute. Rubies aren't meant to like just break in half if they hit the floor. Sorry, I got very caught up in the moment there. This is, this is, this is, this is glass. This is glass. I don't want to steal glass. I'm just gonna smash it and come out of my invisibility. Oh, nice to see you. I have to show you something. <laughs> Ding. And I push the, um, the painting aside, the painting aside <laughs> spin, like sort of cover where I can because I'm no longer invisible, open the vault and show you the doll. Okay. Is the doll and heavy? Doing? Ding. Ding. No, it's just a <laughs> fabric doll. I think. Ding. Stab this. Ding. I, I cannot, I'm afraid. Ding. Can I feel it though? Can I yeah. hold it? Can I feel the magic? Uh, no. I could, could I feel the magic? Uh, yeah, you could feel the magic a little. And then the final toll. Ding. Mm. The world warps. And back at the table, champagne. Sausage. I stop, I stop, I stop the sausages. <laughs> Thanks so much, love. <laughs> Carries on about his way. Yeah. There I'm is no man in black. There's no man. 
there's no math. If we do a, a, a glance around the room, can mm -hmm. we see if we can see him or? He's nowhere to He's be seen. Nowhere. Well, I'm not even going to ask you to do a roll perception check. He's not anywhere. <sighs> there is no point going to the vault and speaking to you in your mm -hmm. mind. The ruby is fake. Yes, it's clear and evident. Perhaps there is something going on in this room that we need to figure out before. Yes, I think that's an excellent idea. How do we stop this bloody loop happening? Someone is planning to kill the king. Sorry, what? There is oh, that was just a sound effect I did. It's not anything serious. I overheard something in the library one of the loops ago. <laughs> there was the, the pale people and the what Black, are they? Spire. Black Spire. They are planning something and I think it is to kill the king. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Do we warn the king? Does that maybe break the loop? But I've never seen actually what happens in here when the loop yeah, is, is resetting because I'm always in the vault. Okay, how about we just hang back, watch what happens, let the clock strike, and then make a new assessment. All right. Okay, you wanted to, uh, I know you don't like the devil's <laughs> juice, but is there something else you'd like to do? I'll have a sausage roll. Okay. I'll have a sausage roll. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to like observe, mm -hmm. I suppose. Um, yeah, so you observe the, the, the king's um, brother makes his rambling speech. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm going to keep it. And an... the other and the black spire head off, can, you know, have their little like. Um, at some point, the uh, sharp-eyed lady um, of the Black Spires yes. um, moves around the room. Um, mm -hmm. You're not quite sure what happens. And Where does she go? Because I want to keep an eye on her, because uh, I remember yeah. her from the first... She heads off into the um, garden out the front. Okay. Mm. I think I want to... I don't know. Okay, let's just let's just stick to our plan. We're just mm. observing what's going on in this room. Okay. <laughs> Um, so people kind of like come and go from the higher table. At one point, um, the, the brother mm -hmm. heads off um, and you see him return later up on the gallery uh, to the one side, mm. um, quite near to midnight, you know? mm. looking down on things. Mm. Um, at one point, you see a serving person um, go top up the wine of mm. the, the king that is quite close to midnight. Mm. He drinks it back. The serving girl kind of disappears off somewhere. Mm. The clock begins to strike. The king begins choking. <clears throat> his face turns purple, his eyes bulge. Uh, the guards like get to his aid, the vizier begins chanting and casting uh, some kind of restorative magic, but whatever it is doesn't seem to be working, and the king um, slumps back in his chair, eyes lifeless. And then the bell tolls, the final twelfth bell, you're standing up, you're sitting down. I stopped the sausages from falling. <laughs> Thank you so much, love. A man? Any man? All right, roll, roll, the seven, Jack. I'm also looking. Does she get advantage? Um, I'm also looking. Uh, Twelve. Uh, yeah, you can roll as well. Twelve. It's not great. No. <laughs> no. You no. don't see him. Okay. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. <laughs> There's nowhere to try. be seen. <laughs> the bell is at the chime in the clock. Yes. So the clock is like quite a spectacular big mechanism on the, the far wall. Okay. Well, can you talk in my head again, oh. please? <laughs> um, do you see anything that was suspicious other than the king dying, of course? Yes. I, I saw a few things that I found quite interesting. Mm. Uh, there's a server. I think I could follow her. Mm. There's also the brother. I've never trusted him from the first speech of the first loop that I saw. Mm -hmm. And yourself? I think 
there is a woman who I met in one of the loops with very insightful eyes. Oh, yeah, 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 I know her, I know her, yes. <laughs> <laughs> very insightful. <laughs> she goes into the garden, I will follow her okay. and see. If we can prevent, maybe, the king from dying, yes. maybe it will stop the loop, we can try. Okay, I will follow the, the waitress who's got, obviously, the drink that does something. Okay. Okay. Can you pretend to drop something so I can go under and then become inconspicuous? Oh my god, I'm such a klutz. <laughs> <laughs> I like, this would clearly draw people's attention. Oh, so you, you, you draw people's attention elsewhere while you like duck underneath? Yeah, just drop my rosary, go and uh, become invisible, follow insightful eyes okay. into the garden. If right, that's what right. she's doing again, I'm not sure because I don't know if she's part of the loop. Yeah. So she's doing what the same do? behavior. I am going to find that serving lady and kind of like, yeah, I want to go talk to her. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so you make your way down into the serving, uh, into the serving court, the, the, like into the kitchen where you know, like all the staging areas, sausage rolls coming out of the oven, you know, um, uh, bottles of wine and champagne like mm -hmm. being like decanted and poured out, and there's a whole like kind of rigorous thing. The big chef who kind of oversees uh, everyone, Toria, um, you know, is uh, commanding things with like a, a military precision. Mm -hmm. As soon as you like step down, it's like. Champagne, champagne, there you go, there you go. <laughs> right, what do you do? Can I see this other server? Okay, uh, make the second check. <sighs> that went so well last time. Hey, That's better, good. 18. 18. Oh, sorry, sorry, 17. 17. All right, so you kind of like go up, up, you know, like up and down a little bit, you know, do a couple of champagne runs. Mm. And uh, with an 18? 17. Oh, sorry, 17? Mm. You know she's not there. You yes. follow um, uh, insightful eyes into the garden. <laughs> <laughs> um, she kind of ducks into a pagoda. Mm -hmm. Are you following her in there? Mm -hmm. All right. As soon as she's out of sight, she like looks around and she um, casts a spell. <laughs> her face changes into the server, her <gasps> uniform ripples. <laughs> Um, and you see she pulls out a stashed uh, tray of glasses and such, mm. taps out the poison, and heads back inside. Um, okay, I'm going to follow her mm -hmm. and um, cast Mage Hand. Mm -hmm. And it just, I'm going to cast it to just knock all the drinks off the... Are okay, you waiting when she's in the hall or when? Uh, in when she's in the hall. Mm. When she's in the hall. Because I want it to be busy so she can't... If it's just me and her outside, she's going to know that it's me. That yeah. there's someone there that like, uh, can't be seen. She's kind of doing sort of like uh, stealthy-like. Yeah, like she uh, might not know who this belongs to. Hmm. Okay. So... She sees the uh, kind of spectral hands and he like knock all the champagne like glasses off. And he's like, oh! Things crash and people like all like look over at her and she's like. <laughs> um, and immediately begins kind of like getting things like back on the, you know, um, and she looks very like inept. Other servers kind of like kind of swarm over and do things. Mm -hmm. um, all right. What are you doing? I would have come up because I'm kind of guessing. Mm. I'm, I'm noticing the time. So I, yeah. I, I see all of you this. You see her coming in. Yeah. Yeah. With a tray of champagne. And I see it be knocked. Yeah. Over. Yeah. And I'm one of the people who are going to help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, okay, so you gather around there, like, you know, getting up all the bits of glass and stuff. You are watching with a keen eye. The, the woman kind of, like, takes a moment to kind of slip away. Can, can, do I not know? Uh, can I follow her then? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Are you going to be conspicuous or are you going to be like, oh? Oh, my goodness. That was so embarrassing. Are you okay, oh. hon? Okay, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm very much okay, yes. I'm just, uh, sorry, a little, a little bit rattled, you know, I don't want to be um, beaten or anything. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to um, just go to, go, go get new, new freshened glasses. 
Oh my goodness, let me totally help you, but I think you should totally no, freshen really up. No, it's fine. I don't need to be. I fine. insist. Like, no, it's fine. I feel like you are super embarrassed, and that's totally understandable because that was super embarrassing. So let me come. Let us get you a fresh like set of ropes, clean you up, and then no, we'll take it from there and get you a tray. I don't need. A, I, don't need uh, I, don't, I don't need a. No, thank you. Okay. And she kind of starts like just like walking away from you towards like back towards the um, staging area of the servants. Okay, no problem. I like will totally not tell the manager. <laughs> That you messed up like that. <laughs> she just keeps walking. I keep. Um, I go to serve the drinks mm -hmm. um, at the table because now there's no one serving drinks. Yeah, the king is like, ah, oh, great. He's got his arm around like his uh, very uncomfortable-looking, um, you know, new bride. Mm -hmm. um, she's just like blank-faced, kind of staring off. Um, mm -hmm. You know, champagne glass, like untouched, still. You know, mm. and he's having a good time, and he keeps on like telling her stories about uh, mm. uh, his hunts that he's been on, mm. the size, of the ways of the wild boar. It mm. was uh, crazy how big it was, mm. and I fought it, and then it stabbed me right here. And he like pulls open his shirt, and you, you can see this like big scar that he's got. <laughs> no one is braver than me. And his next to him, his brother's like. <laughs> Of course, bravery, 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 but uh, such a brave man. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you call me? Uh, do, uh, you think I'm not brave? And they have like started having this little, like, kind of like very like snipey little fight. Mm. And uh, the brother goes, pushes away his chair. No, carry on with your drinking. And he uh, leaves. Mm. What is the time? It is very close to. Um, the the stroke of midnight. Okay. I'm gonna go up to the gallery, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to to get a different view. Mm -hmm. Look down just to see if anything seems strange yeah. or off, or if I can see that. Alexander appears near, near to you while he walks up. No, he doesn't like appear. <laughs> <laughs> he um, he's obviously made his way like round up to the gallery, and he like leans down looking um, at his brother. Um, interesting. The clock begins to strike. Boom, boom. Oh. He drinks champagne. He laughs. The king is having a very, very, very good time. Mm. Um, and uh, he taps his glass, raises it up. He taps it with his um, serving knife. He mm. stands up. Friends, it is so good to have you. Boom. Oh, this damn <laughs> clock. Boom. He's like. You know, I am just, I am so fed up. He turns and he throws his, like, the knife up drunkenly. He's like, shut up! And the dagger, like, hits the clock, spins around, and starts falling as he drunk turns like, you know, everyone is, should be having a good time! And <laughs> the dagger lands in his head. Oh no! And he kind of sways. And doom, the final clock goes as his eyes roll up and he collapses. You have a tray of champagne? No! <laughs> and stop in. <laughs> oh, thanks, <laughs> Thank you very much, lady. I'm like very flipping normal. through my book mm. to see if there's anything mm. about any of this inside. The man in black says, <gasps> well, that was a... That was a didn't see that one coming. <laughs> uh, that was great. I right. immediately go around to his side. Yeah. Anyway, having a good time, ain't we? Ain't we all? And then he ducks underneath the uh, table. Can I grab him? It's like grabbing smoke. <gasps> There's nothing under the table. I just gestured down to the table. Okay. <laughs> Duck under. All right, don't whisper too much, sir. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who is that man? I, those, I still don't know. I didn't gather any information about that person. But uh, I think we, we stopped. We stopped one death, but he still died. So this death thing is coming for the king. Yes. Hold on, let me look in my book. Oh. Oh, got your accent oh, that's again. Oh, that's a very nice book that you have there. <laughs> You stay away from my book. I won't. <laughs> you stole it before, and I was very upset with you. I totally found it on the ground. Yes. Okay, is there anything in this book that is helping me? So, you know, it's the adventures of Maria uh, Paper Touched. Mm -hmm. You know, it's great. It's got, like, kind of, like, records of all your things. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, 
but at the time, instructions. So, you know, it doesn't predict the reality so much as, like, ask you to do things. So it's just got... And the last thing you read in it was basically how to get into the castle. Mm -hmm. You know, it was like, hey, go get the gem. Yeah. But that was, like, a week ago. Yes. You know, you had to come from a separate island, travel here, you know, do all those things. And the book is very unpredictable when it's going to tell, give you things to do. Mm. Um, but there is like one paragraph that has been added mm -hmm. um, about the adventures of Maria Paper Touch. Mm. Maria was unable to get the gem, <gasps> but she lived a happy life, uh, not needing anything from anyone anymore because she herself was not needed. The end. What your book say? What your book say? I think my book has said that I've died. I I grab I grab I grab to feel she's no no you're still here. <laughs> but I don't understand what he's saying. Look, do not touch it. You can read it. Okay. Can can I yep. can I read she it? She goes on to live a happy life because she's not needed anymore. Oh, that is. It's changed since I've been in this loop. Oh. What is this loop? I don't know. What happens if we stop the clock from doing the clock thing? I think this is a good idea. Because if the clock can't chime, then we can't be stuck in the loop. You are very smart. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's do that. Okay. Do you know how to stop a chiming clock? <laughs> well, <laughs> is it magic? How can we tell if it's magic? Is the clock's magic? Yeah. We can't, really. Well, you have Arcana, so you can examine things and like figure out if things are magic or not. How do we get there? Is there like a way of getting to it? Like, it, 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 we just can we just pretend to like be part of the party and get close yes. to it? So the clock is like set in the wall, um, kind of like. So this hall, you know, it has double le like levels, mm -hmm. all right. And on the one side, it basically is backed up against um, the the apartments. Yeah, you know? mm -hmm. and the um, access into the mechanism is probably somewhere around there. Okay, okay. So, mm. I guess you make your way up to the yeah, second. make because it, it's right. not going to be. We don't have to like sneak there because there's lots mm -hmm. of people around. We can yeah. just be yeah. at the party. Be at the party, mm -hmm. hanging out. You're in the you know, the apartments, which you know, like people have been pretty loosey goosey about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, are you dressed as a serving? Uh, yes. All right, and you. In your normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking maybe like a... Casual. Okay, roll, uh, roll an investigation. Okay. Sorry, just to clarify, we're still in the main uh, room. No. No, you're moving up to the second floor. Okay. That's where the clock is. So the is. clock is... My investigation. There. I got a natural one. Natural one. Yeah. All right. Um, you're very confident about where the, like, the clock mechanism can be. And you uh, um, basically open up um, a door. And you're like, here it is. Mm. Step out, and it is a big balcony that uh, looks out over um, uh, the gardens down towards the chapel and the barracks um, with the towers and the, the, the island rolling out of where. Okay, I think I was wrong about that. Do you want to have a try? <laughs> okay, I look, I, I can see where the bell is, right? I can see where this clock is. Is that weird, though, that I went through a thing that I thought was a clock mechanism and just went onto a balcony? No, 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 you, like, you, know, you thought like the clock mechanism should be behind this door. Oh, and it just went to the wrong place. Yeah. Okay. You just got like really turned around. All right. Okay, okay. But you can see the city from here, you know? And you can see like the night and uh, all that. You know, and people have been celebrating and like letting off fireworks and Does all anything that kind look of thing. weird? Yeah, there's just a you know a still firework hanging in the sky. Oh, can I try um, uh, Eldritch Blast yeah. into the like ether? Okay, you like send a little like curl of dark uh, papery energy mm. out, and eventually it like seems to hit like a surface <laughs> and kind of like compress. Are you with me at this point? Yes. And squeeze into like a tiny flat disc. Do you see that? I, yes. I, I, I guess. Yes, I'm seeing it. Oh, okay. 
And my, it doesn't do anything. It like, doesn't like damage it. It just like gets no. absorbed into this weird. Yeah, it like flattens out into a disc. We are clearly in some sort of bubblish nightmare. Okay, I think. If we are trapped in time, maybe the clock is the right place to go. Okay, uh, but this is not where the clock is. <laughs> no, I made a mistake, but I've made some discovery too. So not all is lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's can let's go try and find out how to. Well, unless they are trying to make the clock difficult to find for this very reason. That would be very understandable. Okay, we go. I go try and find. You roll your investigation. <laughs> 18. 18. You've got a great lay of the land. You're like, okay, this is where it should be. There's like a very nondescript door uh, mm. in the wall where you estimate you know, um, it should be on the other side of mm. uh, the grand ballroom. Mm. Uh, you turn it, it's locked. Mm. Uh, thieves tools. <laughs> All right. This is, I'm not even going to make it roll. This is so like basic. You, uh, <laughs> yeah, you like don't even like, you don't even like, you just keep on eye contact with me, Maria, as you do so. You are so good at yeah. that. <laughs> Inside, there's just like lots of ticking, um, like uh, reverberating movements of mechanisms inside. Mm. Yeah, uh, as you are in the clock room. Oh, it's a room. Yeah, this is a, a big wall-sized uh, mechanism. You know, all the mm. big, big wheels and clockwork stuff. You can see that it's uh, driven by a couple of like large weights. Okay. Has anyone like doing, seen yeah? us come in? No. Okay, come. We'll come in. We, we're inside the clock. Um, do we break it? I, I look around. There's no one in this room? No, it is uh, a biggish room, but it's quite flat and narrow. Mm. You know, It's obviously to give uh, people access to uh, all the mechanisms, mm -hmm. but you can also see that there are uh, little spy holes that you can like look out of to look down on the party. Oh. Mm. Should we... What would you like to do? Should I we wanna... wait here until we see if somebody comes up and does something? And then try and stop it just before 12? Okay. Okay, so... So that little doll was rather creepy. I think we have to get that doll before we leave. Yeah, that doll looked, uh, looked a lot like someone I know. <laughs> What do you mean it looks like someone you know? I mean it looks like somebody I know. Like it's not metaphorical, it's like legit somebody I know. So you think that is a voodoo doll? You think that is a voodoo doll? Uh, I, I do not know this voodoo, but it is definitely a doll that represents somebody I know. We do, at some point, let's go totally find that doll again. Well, let's just stop this clock. Can okay. I just cast something on it? Just break it. Yeah, uh, you've got like a lot of like rare frosty things. Yeah, I can do because like yeah. like that's not gonna just. Well, that just freeze the mechanism. Yeah. Mm. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? Can we change the time on the clock? <laughs> <laughs> After you've turned up the mechanism, no. tricky. But there are uh, you. You can see that there are like uh, tool. If you roll investigation to, uh, to figure out how this thing works. Actually, as like a, a lock picker and a safe cracker, you probably could figure this out quite easily. Mm. Yeah. Can I go, because it's right next to that balcony, right, where we yeah. just were. Mm. So I've frozen this thing. While you do that, can I go and check, just look at that firework to see if we've done anything to it? Yeah. Okay, you head out, and mm. you can see that the firework has moved slightly, as though it's been moving very slowly. Okay, so it hasn't been necessarily affected by the fact that we've messed with the clock. Doesn't seem to be. How long did you spend it inside there? Not very long. Not like one Not second. We probably have, it's probably been 30 minutes of this out yeah. of the, okay. Yeah, it's okay. barely moved. Okay. Okay. Okay, come, come. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right, so here's a crazy idea. Mm. I'm going to try and change the face of the clock to, to look like 12. Then I'm going to Make a big sound as if the if it is striking twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> All right. Like who does what? All right. Like the person who thinks it's going to be like, oh, we're going to go back into the loop. I can do murdy murdy things. Maybe they'll be like, oh wait, we have not gone back in the loop, and then we keep an eye out for them. Okay. 
I will watch through the spy holes. Okay. I think this is a good idea. Okay, I will watch from a balcony. That's also a good vantage point, right? No, the balcony looks out. Not the balcony, I mean, sorry, the get from the gallery. This. Oh, this well, gallery. Well, because there's yeah, more yeah, than yeah. one spy hole as well. But yes, you can yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm also going to see the brother. I'm going to be right by the brother. Okay. Do so you want you to casually go like? Do you want to be invisible, or are you fine? So no, I don't. I don't need that. But thank you so much for offering. Okay. So I'm going to go. I'm going to put my wig so it goes back to the short the bob, black okay. and the blue dress. Nice. And I and go to the intrigued. gallery. Okay. I'm spying. You see uh, the insightful-eyed woman um, in her disguise deliver the champagne. You see the brother. Uh, make comments and leave and go stand up by the, the gallery. People don't seem to have like noticed much about the clock. It's not moving, correct? That's what you did? Mm -hmm. Right. Um, the brother leans on the balcony. How close are you? Relatively close. What does relatively mean? <laughs> like, are you... Relative to how close I need to be. How close? Um, I'd say like there's a, there could be a person comfortably between us. Okay. But that's how close I am. No one else is really around. Mm. Um, you see him like look up at the clock and be like a little bit, hmm, a little confused, but then look back down. Mm -hmm. I cast the thermaturgy. Oh. And he says, um, brave men die only one death, but a coward dies a thousand. <gasps> the king drinks the poison, his face turns purple, his eyes bulge. He chokes, <laughs> and you are holding your champagne, <gasps> and you are at the table, and that's where we're going to end that session. No! <laughs> <laughs> thanks for watching, and thanks for joining us at Zarnia for Games and Geekery. If you've made it this far, why not go a step further and hit that like button? Maybe smash the subscribe. Maybe, if you're really feeling helpful, hit the share button. Hmm, yeah. Speaking of helpful, Big thank you to Malcolm, Andrew, Hung, and Clive, our patrons.